All right, welcome back again to North Florida Redneck Customs. I'm Lucas once again. Today I'm going to highlight a tool that most mechanics don't use, maybe don't know about, but it's an essential tool for any time you change a brake booster or a master cylinder. It's the little H-shaped adjuster. Oh, let me use the other hand so you don't see those stitches. It's the little H-shaped so you can see it has an arrow pointing towards the master cylinder, an arrow pointing towards the brake booster. So with this tool, you can get it pretty much spot on every time. I know there's other ways to do it. You can you measure it, stick a rod down in there, measure it, flip it, adjust it that way. But this tool, there's several companies out there. I'd say roughly $25. I'll include a link below it's an affiliate link, so I get a small portion for everyone's sold. Uh, I did just recently do the brake bleeder check valve, and I included an affiliate link there also. And then if you have a warped sense of humor like me, what I can do is I can include a link to one of my favorite shirts. I'm not a fan, particular fan of this color of shirt, but it is... The shirt, oh no you don't, not without a washer. So a little bit of humor, sexual humor, you know. But it's it's all fun and games. You know, you get a lot of weird looks. If you see the back of my van, I have the same sticker on the back of my van, including, you know, this van makes frequent stops at your mom's house. Because a lot of people make fun of vans. But I wanted something different because all of my projects are different. And if you see me leaning down, my dog right here, so harassing me. She's an almost four-year-old old English bulldog, so she's just curious what I'm doing. But back to this tool. So with this tool, you see there's a little adjustment right here. So what you do is you turn it so that it frees, you know, moves freely. And then the side that says master cylinder, and then the side that says brake booster. So you got the master cylinder. What you do is you press this down into the center. You kind of wiggle it a little bit, and you have this flush against there. And then when you know you're at bottom out and you're in the actual center of it, you go ahead and tighten this up. And then what you do is for the brake booster, you flip this around, you put this face on the brake booster, and then you adjust the push rod out until, you know, I leave a some gap, you know, sheet of paper, very small gap. But you'll get your brake booster, master cylinder, you know, adjusted right the first time every time if you use this tool it will save you a lot of time money you know if you're a professional shop a lot of mechanics don't have these it's only a $25 tool you know and it's just the best way you know if you're improperly adjusted sometimes it feels like you have air in the line you might be chasing a bubble you know keep chasing a bubble and it's just as simple as your push rod needs adjusted so I would recommend buying one of these you know I don't use it that often. You can see it's extremely clean. I don't do a lot of brake boosters or master cylinders. But when I do have one, it turns the job into a five-minute job. You know, you just, like I said, you just adjust it to touch the uh, master cylinder, flip it, adjust the push rod, bolt it together. It's one and done every time. You know, you know it's right every single time. And there's no need guessing, no need to do, you know, calculations as well it's this deep so I got to push my push rod out this far no it's it's one and done every time it's a simple hack extremely cheap $25 throw it in the top of your toolbox when you need it you have it you know you might go for for years without using it but it's when you have it you need it though the one other thing I forgot to mention I've had a couple different ones of these throughout the years when you get it Sometimes this rod is installed backwards. If you look closely, this side is flat, so the flat side will always go towards the booster. The rounded side goes into the bottom of the master cylinder. I've seen these come, you know, they're just cheaply thrown together. Whoever installed it didn't pay attention to what they were doing. So you want to make sure the rounded side is always facing the master cylinder and the flat side is always for the booster. If it's not, you're not going to get an accurate reading, and then you, uh, you know, you're going to be close, but it's not, you know, you're not going to have perfect breaks. This right here, it's going to be perfect every time if you use this. Very simple. But if you have any other tips, you know, questions or anything like that, 
Let me know if you have anything you'd like for me to spotlight. Let me know. I have access to pretty much every tool out there, you know, for automotive industry. I've built commercial trucks. I've built everything. So I don't turn wrenches professionally anymore, but I still turn them for myself. I enjoy turning wrenches. It's relaxing. You know, just get out there and build something, you know, and shoot me a, you know, link of what you're building, anything like that. I'll check it out. And, you know, if I can help promote you anyway, I will. But until next time, I'm Lucas and we'll see you again.